Okay, Michael, now I like to see uh, how the uh, machine, machine works. works. Yeah. Let's make it coffee then. Let's Yeah, we have the same grinding degree as before with the Mechanica Slim. Yes. And now we will see the result very soon. Good tamping in the tamping station and with the uh, good temper. Remove the coffee which is on the, on the filter. So then the group basket will last longer. Then you just push the push button and then you can make your coffee. And then we will see in the outflow whether it's uh, good or not good. I think it's still too fast running. Yeah, this is too fast. We are in a uh, range between uh, good extraction and under extraction. So we will adjust the grinder a little bit. But the color looks nice. Cremant looks nice. It's a hazelnut color. And uh, let me smell. Yeah, also smell is good, uh, some uh, nut and wood aroma, uh, chocolate a little bit. Not bitter, it's good, uh, but still uh, the last kick is missing. So uh, we set the grinder. Yeah, one grinding degree is enough. We remove the coffee powder in order to, um, um, yeah, why exactly? Because of the dead space, that's important. So when you change the grinding degree, always uh, remove uh, one, two, three gram in order to get the uh, same uh, particle size distribution in the filter holder, okay? Yeah, so now we are a little bit finer in the particle size and therefore we will see, uh, I guess, quite a result in the uh, espresso outflow. So. And here you see now it's more like a mouse tail, so it's a much better flow velocity and uh, therefore also the extraction should be a little bit better. What do you think, Michael? I prefer the espresso. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so the second attempt is uh, right for us. Yeah, it's also hazelnut color. Smell is a little bit more intense. Okay, salute. Hey. Yeah, that's it, that's it. The other one was a little bit more watery and that's a real espresso. So you see you have to adjust the grinder according to the uh, particle size and the particle size you cannot measure but the flow you can measure. That's right. And what's about the steam? For the steam function you have this button with the signal light above you will, uh, it will show that the machine starts heating up. Um, now you have to remove the water from the boiler to free it. To create a dryer steam. Like when you see that there is only steam coming out, like that now, you close the valve, leave the machine a bit time to heat up, like okay, this shown yeah. on, on, on the light. So when it's reached uh, the temperature, it will go off. The orange light on that. Yeah, the reason why for boilers without heat exchanger is to reduce the water level. That's right. That uh, there is enough steam volume That's available. Right. As this is a single boiler machine, yeah. you have this to do uh, step by step and you can't do that at the same time. Okay. So. We wait until the light... Uh, the light is off. Yeah. First, remove this. It has a lot of power and the steam quality is quite uh, good. 
That's right. I'm, I'm impressed even for longer a period of time it's uh, quite stable so it does not collapse like a smaller machine like the old Gacha Classic then you have to heat up again and do it uh, several times yeah but now you see the machine is heating yeah because of course the temperature goes down yeah sure so. important after you have uh, steam to milk switch off the steam function now the temperature in the boiler is too high for preparing the next coffee. You have two possible ways in reducing the temperature. One would be taking hot water out of the glue pad. The other would be uh, using this water uh, the steam, uh, the, the hot water button, and now opening the valve and waiting that out of there is coming water, like now. The temperature went down in the boiler, you close the valve, you check the gauge, it went up to 9 bar, and then you stop. Yeah. And now the temperature is ready for preparing the next coffee. Like, if you now start making coffee, engaging, okay. make the next espresso. We see here now the manometer at the 9 bar. This means there is still a, a capillar pressure in that's, the manometer pipe. Right. So therefore I just press this button. That's it. So, super cool machine. I like it. Good deal. Wow, really cool. Super. Ciao. Ciao.